If you said that the person who founded the Women Entrepreneur Seminar at Harvard Business School was an odds-on favorite to be a successful entrepreneur herself, you would be right. And you'd be talking about Marla Malcolm. Malcolm began her entrepreneurial career helping entrepreneurs get started with a venture capital firm called E2Enet.com. But while she was writing the business plan for that, she realized there was an industry that was perhaps better suited to her. So in 1998, Malcolm founded luxury beauty products company Blue Mercury. Today, the company has about 30 employees. Expected 1999 revenues are about $10 million. And the company plans to launch its website this coming Monday. So let's talk more about her ideas and this company, the founder of Blue Mercury, Marla Malcolm. Welcome to our program. Thank you so much. Nice to have you with us. And it must be exciting to not only within the space of what, less than two years, get the company going and now on Monday get the website going. Very, very exciting. A, a, a driving force or a driving idea behind all this is that the women you market to don't have an awful lot of time to take care of themselves and that has proven to be great in the business plan so far and obviously the internet is the next obvious step. Absolutely. What we realized when we talked to women was they put themselves at the bottom of the list when it comes to taking care of themselves. Whether they're new moms or busy professionals, what they do is they take care of their careers, they take care of their families, and they don't take the time to go buy the products that actually just make them feel good and make them happy. So when we looked at the market and we looked at internet offerings, there were very few high quality mm. e-tailing sites where women could sort of take a break from the day and go find products that would actually make them feel good. I assume It'll be called what? BlueMercury.com. Yeah, the site will be called BlueMercury.com. <laughs> Makes sense. You know, I want to go back to the entrepreneurial genius, if we can call it that, of this. The, the, the two stores that you're first selling in existed mm -hmm. already in Washington. You were a customer. They were selling the same products. They were there, but somehow you saw in that business things they weren't doing and were able to acquire them and build it into a bigger, broader, smarter business. How, wh what was the reason for that? Well, a couple things. I was a customer of the stores, and what I often found is that I didn't have time to go buy these products. And these products are actually absolutely fabulous and are hard to find across the country. 25% of the customers of the store actually don't even live in the Washington, D.C. area. Mm -hmm. They call in on the 800 number to purchase products. And so I saw an incredible opportunity here to provide our innovative lines like Aqua di Parma, which is a classic Italian line, or Red Flower, which is a new sort of product philosophy line that encourages women to take time through sort of using their Indian jasmine candles. And I saw this opportunity that women didn't have access on a daily basis to these products and that they needed access to it. And one way to provide that was through the internet medium. I guess the cynic would say that uh, a woman could do as good for her face with cold cream as she can with these high high-end products that cost a lot of money but I, but these are these are nice little indulgences and the folks you're marketing to can afford them these are products that actually anyone can afford that's the nice thing about this category we offer twenty eight dollar candles you know mm. you know nineteen dollar lip glosses they're indulgences because of the quality of the products and because we've really put sort of a tight editorial lens to determining which products go in the store and which products go on the site but anyone can afford them and have access to these little indulgences which is really fun for us because we get to provide women with this set of products that are yeah. often hard to find. Well, you're coming online at a great time. I mean, November 1st, and we look ahead, and Thanksgiving's right down the line, and, of course, the Christmas holiday shopping season. So this this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we're launching BlueMercury.com actually with a holiday site. We realize that women are time-starved during the holidays. They often don't take care of themselves until January, and what they want to do during the holidays is have an easy shopping environment. Yeah. And it's also an opportunity for men to buy gifts <laughs> for women, too. And so what we did is we've provided an elegant offering of products at all different price points for people to purchase over the holiday season. Yeah, I was just about to say, men, men want an easy holiday shopping experience, too, so you're, it's a perfect time. Really nice to have you here, and good luck with the website. We'll be watching it. Thank you Marla so Marla. much.